Welcome everyone. My name is Steve Weber. I'm the global MSP sales engineer at Sophos. Today we're going to talk about Sophos Central admin customer user management. There are going to be two ways to manage users in Sophos Central admin. The first is going to be Active Directory integration. To do this, you're going to install the Sophos AD Sync tool on your Active Directory server. This is going to allow you to automatically synchronize all Active Directory users and groups to Sophos Central. This simplifies user management and automatically adds and removes users from Sophos Central. The second option is going to be directly through Sophos Central. If you don't have Active Directory, what you're able to do is as you install the endpoint on your workstations or servers, it is going to grab the username from that workstation and populate that automatically into Sophos Central. If they are all Active Directory integrated, they will all have the same domain slash user. If it is not an Active Directory integrated account, it will have computer slash username. If you are wanting to maintain a single user license across multiple devices, you are going to have to manually manage those users. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through a few demonstrations of how this works in the system. Okay, we're going to start with Active Directory management. On the left, I have my Active Directory server, my domain is test.com, and I have my two users, John Smith and Sally Roberts. From here, we're going to install the Sophos AD Sync tool on the Active Directory server. What this is going to do is synchronize John Smith and Sally Roberts into Sophos Central users. It is going to populate their usernames, both of their first and last name, as well as their associated logon ID, in this case, domain slash username. From here, we're going to be able to see that if John Smith and Sally Roberts both have two devices and they log on to those devices, it is going to associate both those users to that same account. The end result here is going to be two Sophos Central user licenses. Next, we're going to take a look at the Sophos Central user management. So this is assuming you do not have Active Directory. Uh, we just have workstations out there. They're all just part of a work group. Uh, the user accounts are going to be computer name slash username. And what's going to happen is as you install Sophos on these devices, you're going to see those devices populate inside of Sophos Central. It will show up as the computer name slash the username. In the case of the first user here, Jay Smith, with the associated logon of the computer name slash Jay Smith, and he is associated to that computer PC1. As we start having more computers for Jay Smith, in this case, we're going to give Jay Smith four computers. We're going to see as he signs on to PC2, it's going to have a different associated account with it. Uh, same thing when we go to PC3 and PC4. So what happens in this scenario is we now have John Smith in the system. He has four different Sophos Central user accounts with the associated logons. And the ending result here is going to be that he is going to consume four Sophos Central user licenses. So the question is, how do we fix this? How do we get to a single user license? Remember, Sophos Central is licensed by user. One user can have multiple devices. When you utilize Active Directory, Active Directory is going to go ahead and automatically, because we're all logging in with domain slash our username, we're going to know in Sophos Central which computers are belonging to that Active Directory user. If we do not have Active Directory, Sophos Central will not be able to automatically consolidate and know that John Smith, these different variations of John Smith, are all the same user. So what you're going to have to do is we're going to have to take those associated logons, which each one of those other accounts and consolidate them. To do this, we can start by taking PC2, uh, the John Smith username, and we're going to take that associated account and we're going to move it under the initial PC1 J Smith account. What that's going to do is it's going to take his PC1 and PC2, as well as those two associated logons and bring them up under that one account. We can do this same thing for PC3 slash John and PC4 slash John dot Smith to associate those all under a single account. Now, from here, we can actually clean this user up a little bit. So we can see we have the associated logons, which is great. 
on the far left side, we can see we can delete out those other accounts that are no longer have any associated uh, users with them. And then the PC slash J Smith account, we can actually rename that to John Smith. That way it is a friendly name in Sophos Central. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and jump into a Sophos Central account and see how this is actually done in an actual Sophos Central environment. Okay, we're at our Sophos Central partner dashboard. What we're gonna do is launch into one of our customers and from there, take a look at the users that are in his account. So from here, we can select our Steve Weber lab. We can go ahead and launch into the Sophos Central admin. Remember the Sophos Central admin is the customer's admin dashboard. Uh, this will be noted at the top here with the Sophos Central admin. From here, we can click people. And in this particular account, you'll notice that, and we're gonna use my Win10 Automate account for this example. Uh, we have a couple of users in here. Uh, they have different computer names, but they all have the same exact user. So I have a Win10 Lab with a Win10 Automate, uh, Win10 Automate with a Win10 Automate, and a Win10 Caseo on there. In this environment here, this Win10 Automate user is pulling three Sophos Central light user licenses. What we want to do is consolidate that to a single user account. To do this, we can start by picking any one of these accounts in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the top account inside of here. We're gonna go ahead and use this Win10 Kaseya with the Win10 Automate user. When you click on this user, you are going to see at the bottom right side here, the logons. These are the associated logins for this particular user account. At the logins, you can see over to the far right, you can select the edit button. What that's going to allow us to do is to find those other Win10 Automate users in the system. You can see I can select both of those and associate those logons with this account here. We're gonna move those over and we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, under this account, we can now see that it's my Win10 Automate and all of these accounts are associated under this one individual user. What that did is it brought in the other workstation that was associated to another user to this one automatically. Now we can go in and clean up this account as well. So under the actual user account, we can go ahead and hit edit. From here, we can go ahead and change the name. So right now it's still listed as computer slash user. If we just want to leave this as the user name, so we can quickly and easily identify this as that particular user we're looking for. You can populate their email address if you need. This is also where you can go in and change the role of that particular user uh, for this Sofo Central admin account. If you do select them as a super admin, admin, help desk, or read only, this will initiate and require that you have an email address on there and we'll send them a welcome message, uh, letting them set up a password to log into the Sofo Central admin account. From here, we're gonna go ahead and simply select save. This is gonna update our username in the system. It will not update on this page here until after we go back into users. On our user page, we're gonna see that Win10 Automate user has been modified. Now, if we take a look at one of our other accounts here, now these can be deleted, but what I wanna do is show you first. If we go into this Win10 Automate, there are gonna be zero associated logons, which means there's gonna be zero computers with this particular user. From here, you can go ahead and delete the user from this screen or from the main page here. And again, make sure you grab the correct user accounts, which is why it's always good to rename that top account. Select the two user accounts inside of here. Now this is not mandatory. These are not going to pull a user license at this point. This is simply just for management's sake of making sure that you don't have multiple users in the system that don't have an associated logon. From here, I can go ahead and select delete to delete both of those accounts out of the system. You can see here, it's gonna prompt me to make sure that yes, I do want to remove those. Uh, they are going to be permanently deleted after 90 days. And this is gonna give you a request ID confirmation and at this point, we now have this console cleaned up with one Win10 automated account that has three associated logons. It has two devices associated with it. We have now taken this Win10 automate from pulling three user licenses to a single user license.
Okay, now we're going to take a look at the Active Directory integration portion of Sophos Central. What I've got here is a different Sophos Central admin account. I have a lab admin account set up here. This does have to be either a super admin or an admin in the system. If you need information on how to set up a super admin, please take a look at our synchronized security video as it'll walk you through this process as well. From here, there are two different ways in which we can get into the Active Directory synchronization. We can take a look at the top right and we have the Active Directory sync up at the top, or we can go to global settings and AD sync settings and status. From here, if you've never set this up before, it won't have any stats on there. What you'll wanna do is download the actual installer. This is gonna go ahead and download the AD Cloud sync tool from here, we'll go ahead and install that tool. Installation of the tool is simply uh, run through this. It's gonna be uh, next, agree to the terms. If you need to change the location, you can do that and simply hit install. By default, it will launch into the Sofo Central add an AD Sync utility. From here, this is gonna be us setting up the AD synchronization for the first time. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. We're gonna set up our Sophos credentials. Once we have our credentials entered, we're gonna hit next. The next option is gonna be the AD configuration. By default, it is gonna recommend using the LDAP over SSL connection. This is a brand new AD setup. I do not have LDAP setups. So we're gonna disable that. I'm also gonna put this port number back to the default unsecured connection for LDAP. Again, recommended is definitely using LDAP over SSL. Good to point out here that this is a one-way synchronization. This is a from your AD component up to Sophos Central, a push of the users and groups into Central. Nothing from Central gets synchronized back into your Active Directory. Next, go ahead and enter the username and password for your Active Directory admin we're gonna use or service account. Once you have your username and password set, click next. This will list all of the domains that are available to be synced. Go ahead and select your domains. Click next. The AD filters. This is the portion where you can go ahead and set up which organizational units or containers you want to have synced from this particular domain. We're gonna select that domain. We're gonna click define filters. And from here, we're gonna make some changes. We can make changes to the users and the groups. We're gonna go ahead and edit this and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my particular OU that I want to synchronize for this particular test. In this case, it's going to be my lab users. We can come into our groups and we can do the exact same thing here. We're gonna go ahead and pull in just from a single OU and this is going to be my lab groups. And now we can go ahead and hit okay and hit next. The last portion of this is to set up your sync schedule. I definitely recommend a twice a day setup. However, whatever meets your needs will work. Go ahead and hit finished. Once you hit finished, it will start checking for updates, making sure that the AD sync utility is to the latest version. You will see that you have the ability to go back into the configuration we also have a preview and sync. It'll show you that it is not currently synchronizing and that the next time that it will synchronize. This program and this utility do not have to be running for this to work. It will run in the background. For right now, we're gonna click on preview and sync. It's going to query the Active Directory server, pulling in the users and groups. It will then prompt us, showing us a screen of the pending changes. Show us the three users that will be added in, it will also show us the group that will be added to Sophos Central as well. You can go ahead and approve these changes if you agree. At this point, the data is being sent up to Sophos Central. We can now go back to our Sophos Central account. We can click on people and we can see that we have three new users added. These two bottom users, because they were part of a group, are also part of a group here. They are part of our lab group, and that is part of the My Test Lab domain. You can also see that group that was synchronized here. It will have the group name, 
and it will also have the Active Directory domain name here as well. Thank you everybody. That was our quick lesson on user management for Sophos Central Admin. If you found this useful, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.